Hey guys, this is the demo of the Wish clone by AppScript.com. We call our app Shopper. I launch the app and I see the first screen of the app which asks me to register. I can sign up with my email address or I can also sign in with Facebook. So I get into my sign up with email address. I enter my name, add my email address. I add my password. Put in my phone number, choose a birth date, choose a gender, pick up a photo, create the account. The app starts with the preference screen. Based on the preferences set here, the app would start showing me results. So this is great for getting personal recommendations. So if I start following all women products, I would when I launch the app, I would start seeing products from women first. So this is a great way to personalize the whole app experience. So I launch the app. I can see that the, the products are organized into categories and so I have women, men and kids. And you can see the same three categories on the admin panel. A great way to understand how the app works would be along with, would be with the admin panel. And as I walk you through the demo, I would be switching over between the app and the admin panel so that you guys can understand how the whole app works. So I start by seeing the details of a product. I have an option to see the multiple images of the product, if any. I have the feature here to see the original price and the, and the um, discounted price. I have an option to buy the product. I have an option to choose any size. The size can again be configured on the admin panel. I have an option to choose the color which is available. I get an option to see the description, how many product, how many people have added this product to their wish, uh, wish list, how many people have bought this product, details of the store which has this product, and any suggestion by the app. So this is the detailed screen of a product. The other screens on the app are Love It, which is for favorite products, favorite store, in case I want to add any store to my favorite. The app is a great way to list stores around you as well. So apart from just doing a pure e-commerce solution, you could actually list stores around and have them go mobile. So it's a great way to get your store on mobile. So I, I like the store by AND. So let me add this to my favorite. If I go back on the menu, I will see that this product, this store is now in my favorites. I get into the store. I look for products for women. Let me see, I like this. Let me look for some product I like. So I can scroll through the product. I can see a product which I like. And I can add this to my wish list. As soon as I add a product to my wish list, I would start seeing it here. And I would also see it here. So it's a great way to, you know, you know, sort your products and put all the stuff you like on one single page. I can also see offers, if any, on the on the app. I see here that the two offers uh, for everybody, that two, the two general offers, one is in the store A and D on a particular dress, and one is on Forever New. I can click on the dress to see which dress actually has the offer. So that would be that would be an inspiration for me to click on the product. I can see which size is available for the product, which color and the description about the product and i can see how many people have bought this how many people have added this to their wish list so if i add this to my wish list and i go back and i see the product again i will see that it's saved by one person more so that and that one person is me so i can add this to my order i can say add to order it adds to my cart if i go into the cart i will see that this product is now added I have an option to check this, check out the product. So I can check out and view any offer if available. I see that there's one general offer on the product which I could use if needed. So now let me switch into the store admin panel. So I, I have the admin panel for the store and I can see the various products which have been set up right here. So let me see the product which I've been looking for. So I see that this is a blue colored embellished shift dress let me move the panel a bit 
here a bit towards the center of the screen so that you guys can see it. So I can see offers here. So the general offer which I saw on the app is right here. I also have an option for personal offers. This is a great way to target your audience better. Now, so if I can actually push this offer to people directly from the app. So if I've added this product, I mean, if I've added the store as my favorite, I can, I have an option here to push an offer directly to me. If I've seen any item, I can push an offer directly to me. So it's, it's a great way of, it's a great way for the store to target customers because here they get an option to actually see which customer is seeing which product and how many times has he seen it and how recent was the visit. So since I see my name here and I see that I've seen the product thrice, it seems like I would be interested. So I can get in here and actually push an offer. So when I push an offer, let me start the app again. Let me launch the app. So, and let me see if I can push an offer. So I get in here and I push this offer and I go back to the app and I see that, wow, I've, I've just received a personalized offer from the store for one of the products I like. So I can view this offer. So I see that I've got a notification which says that I just received an offer. So if I go back on the app and I go back to my cart and I see the cart and I view the offers, I would see a general offer there. And if I go back to my offers page, I see that I now have a personal offer as well. So this is the offer I just pushed from the store admin the store admin dashboard. So I get in here, I see the product and I, and I say, let's add this to the cart. And I add this to my cart. And go back to my cart, I remove the product, the old product which I had. I check out the new product and I see if there are any offers. I see here that there's a personal offer for me for this particular product which I could use. So I get into the details, details of the product and I see the product. It's already in my cart, so I go back to my cart. I check this out. I see the offers. I see a personal offer. I copy the offer code. I go back to my checkout page. I apply my promo code. And if I click on apply, I now see a discount of $270 on the product, which is 30%. I can check out the product. Now we have two options here on the app. One is for pickup from the store directly or one for delivery from the store. For delivery orders, we could tie up with any delivery service around the world, as long as they have an API. So I can say I'm expecting a delivery order, or I can go back and I can say a pickup. Let me say a pickup, and let me complete my checkout. So when I complete my checkout, we've added PayPal for as the payment gateway, and this is the adaptive PayPal system. So as soon as I check, as soon as I add my PayPal ID here, the store would get its money immediately after a commission. So I go ahead and make a checkout. So I add my PayPal address and put in my ID here. I say pay. So if the PayPal payment process, if it's successful, the app would inform me. The app tells me that the payment is successful. I have an option to rate my store or rate the experience with my store. I submit that. This is the my order screen on the app. I can go back to the app and track all my orders. I see that I've just created a new order for a dress. I can see its status. It says that the, it's a new order and it's still under processing from the store. Now I move back to my store admin panel. I check out my order management. I see here that there's a new order available. So the payment status is completed. So I know that this order is now complete. I can see my name right here. I see my phone number. I can always view the details of the order. I go back. I can update the customer when the product is ready to ship. So I go in here. I open the app here. I go in here and I update the customer. So as soon as I update, the order status on the admin, the customer gets a notification which says that, hey Rahul, your order is now, your order with Anne is now ready to ship. So I know here that, so now I know that the order is ready. 
and I can always view its status. So if I go back to the menu, I see an option called notifications where I can see all the notifications which have been sent out to me on the app. So I see the one which I just received. It says that my order is now ready to ship. I go back to the admin and once the order has, in, has been shipped, I can inform the customer that the order has been shipped and the customer gets a notification as you see here. So if I go back to the my order screen, I would see that updated status here. So your order is on the way. I, I go to my shipped status on the admin and I update the status here again. Go in here, update a status that it's delivered. So I go back to the app and I get, an, I get a push notification from the admin that says that the order has indeed been delivered. So this covers the entire workflow for an order submission on the app. So it's a great product for any store to have and it's a great product if you want to start a new app which is listing stores around you and also for you to list your own product. So if you want to go the wish route, the app could also be made social so that all the social elements are incorporated in the app. The, uh, the, the product comes with a complete inventory management system. So if I get in here and I go into my product inventory, I can see the details of each inventory right here. So I can check out the app, I mean the product which I just bought which was the white colored solid skater dress as you see here. I can get in here and then I can track the entire inventory. So I see that, I see which uh, color I've bought. So I've bought the size 32, the white color. So if I get in here, I can see all the inventories updates for this product right here. I can always add inventory and remove inventory. So we can accommodate for any offline sales of the product on the same admin. We have other features on the app, which is for order history. I can track all the order his, uh, the, the history of all the orders right here from the admin panel. We have an option to start to run email campaigns directly from the store dashboard. Uh, the, we can run an email campaign, a push notification campaign, an SMS campaign. We also give an option of posting ads on the app. These are all targeted ads by geography. The product could be entered right here from the admin dashboard. Every product is entered with its details along with inventory details. We have a financial dashboard available to track all the orders and their status and how much money the store has made from each sale. We have an option to enter the store's profile directly on the admin. I can track the store's profile on the app as well. If I get into the store, I can get into my favorite store I can look at that and I can track all the details of the store from here. So the customer is aware of all the timings and location of the store. I can get driving directions to the store. I can also call the store if I need. I can check all the offers out in that store. I can also track the history of all, all my orders with that store. We also have a new feature on the app which is a blog. It's a great feature to advertise products on the app to all the customers. So, so you can actually track which product the blog has been posted for and who the author is. So we open the Instagram link of the, of the author directly from the app. We have an option to share the blog. We have different kinds of blogs. We can post videos, we can write image based blogs or we can even write simple text blogs. So we have all kinds of blogs which could be created on the dashboard. So it's a great way to market the products on the app. We have an option to enter addresses on the app which, is, which could be saved for future access which speeds up the whole process for the checkout. I have an option here to add preferences at any time. If I want to add more preferences I can just get in here and add more preferences. So the app gets smarter and starts showing me products which are more relevant to me. We have an option to call the customer support directly from the app. 
we get information about the app. We also can track the shopping cart from here. And we can also see all the offers which are available for us right here. The offer page is great for the app because you can actually target customers and send them personal offers like I just showed you earlier in the demo. And you can also create general offers which are available for everybody. The offers could be created in a way that they, certain conditions apply. You can limit the number of users of the offer and you can also limit the number of users per user of the offer. So the offers are completely configurable and can be managed from the dashboard. This covers most of the core features available on the Shopper app. I hope this demo was useful for you guys. And if you need a live demo, you can always reach out to us on appscript.com and we would be very, very happy to share a live demo with you. The iOS app is approved on the App Store and you can download it from there. And the Android app is coming out very, very soon. Please feel free to reach out to us and we would set up personal demos for you. You can send us an email at dreamer at appscript.com and you can always call us on our US number or Indian number. Hope you guys like the demo. Thank you so much.